Well, our vacations, they can bring us to some of the most breathtaking locations in the world, but you have to be present to take it all in. A local psychology professor told Atlanta News First reporter, sorry, Bussy, it may be hard to do, but leaving your work at home is better for everyone. Endless emails, phones that never stop ringing, texts to respond to. Work can be relentless. You need a break. Cue your vacation. Grazie. 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 These are the days, or weeks if you're lucky, where you get to exist without the stresses of work, where you get to focus on having fun with the people you love. But new research shows nearly half of Americans don't plan on using all their time off this year. And according to psychology professor and psychology department chair at Georgia Gwinnett College, some people will take their work with them on vacation. They do what they call work vacations. They bring the laptop with them to the beach and there they are sitting on the beach, but they're still typing away at their, fr frantically at their, at their laptop, answering emails, doing spreadsheets and so on. You're still working. He says the responsibility is on individuals. We kind of intuitively know that like if you're working on a problem or something and you get stuck, you need to walk away for a while. And then when you come back, you're refreshed. And part of the responsibility is on corporations. You can actually get more productive employees if you encourage them to take breaks, to take vacations. He says the work will be there when you return from your adventures. Work shouldn't be your whole life. One of the best things you can do when you get on vacation Turn off that work phone. In Lawrenceville, saw your bussy, Atlanta News First. No hard to do. Sorry.